Hey, what's up everyone? Pasay Bodog here. We are now on this January 9, 2023 NBA game day. We got nine games for today. And to kick things off, we will be talking about this afternoon game that we have. Uh, this is Philadelphia 76ers going up against Detroit Pistons. That will happen at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 4 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, the spread given is minus 6, and that's actually given towards the visiting team, Philadelphia 76ers. And before we proceed, let's check on the standings and the rankings of both teams, both belonging to the Eastern Conference. Um, starting with Philadelphia 76ers, they are number 5 in the East, with a record of 23 wins and 15 losses. While for the Detroit Pistons, they are back at number 15, with a record of 11 and 31. So here we go, Detroit Pistons, they would have the home court advantage on this. In terms of fatigue, well, uh, we can skip that part because both teams were able to rest up last night anyway. In terms of momentum, um, we hit, uh, both teams are also coming off losses, you know. Uh, Philadelphia 76ers uh, coming from a loss, Detroit Pistons also came from a loss. But maybe we can consider the form that these two teams have. And uh, the, uh, Philadelphia would have a, an advantage to that. Um, for their last 10 games, Philadelphia has won 7 as compared to Detroit, uh, wherein they have just won 3. And uh, let's go ahead and check on the availability of the players and the health of both teams. For Philadelphia, um, Embiid and Tucker are out. For Detroit Pistons, Bagley um, and Livers are confirmed out. And we have Boheim and Duran listed as questionable. So in terms of, uh, in terms of um, health, even though there are just two players out for Philadelphia, and for Detroit, there are four listed down here, I would still give the health advantage towards Detroit because... Man, the the impact and the value that uh, the absence of Joel Embiid brings to the game is just totally huge. If you know what I'm saying, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Detroit Pistons with a slight advantage because of again the fact that the one who's out in Philadelphia is their best player, Joel Embiid. All right, um, this one's tough, you know. Again, obviously, Philadelphia 76ers is the better team, despite of the fact that um, Embiid is out. Uh, they still have a lot of, you know, a lot of offensive options. Um, Harden is there, and Harden knows what to do with the ball in in terms of offense. Um, he also has a lot of shooters around him, so it's going to be very easy for him um, to produce, you know, to, to to produce points if needed. But we have to also consider how the Detroit Pistons are looking and how the Detroit Pistons have been playing. For the past, you know, for the past couple of weeks or so, um, if you take a look at it, well, well, on 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 that last, I don't know, maybe it was three, four, or five nights ago when they actually defeated um, uh, Golden State Warriors, right? Um, I know it was just like a three-point win, but still, they defeated Golden State Warriors in Golden State Warriors' own home court. Now, not only that, prior to, prior to that game, uh, Detroit Pistons, you know, they've been trying to keep it close. They've been, you know, they've been winning some games. They, I can't remember uh, them winning against, uh, I, guess, I guess that was Minnesota, uh, them defeating Magic with that altercation that happened, you know. Um, Detroit Pistons, they are, you know, they are looking good. I mean, yes, they got a lot of losses but because uh, their best player is out, Cunningham. Um, and again, they are rebuilding, but with the situation that we have, they are at home. Philadelphia 76ers don't have Embiid. The six-point spread is something that's kind of tempting. I would I would admit, you know, um, I'm looking at the possibility that Harden would explode, um, and you know, easily cover that six points. But it's tough. It's tough, especially um, with uh, uh, with the starting five that Detroit Pistons has. The projected starting five that Detroit has would be Ivy, Killian Hayes. Bogdanovich, Duran, and Stewart. Man, the combination of Hayes and Ivy, those two young backcourt, they are looking good. And Hayes is just really uh, um, having this confidence, take, taking you know taking those three point shots. Now Bogdanovich is a very good, uh, it's a very good player, especially uh, when, uh, whenever he's actually uh, given an opportunity to go ISO. Man, Bogdanovich knows what to do with the ball. And he knows uh, how to get those fouls uh, from his opponents. And the combination of Stewart and Duran, that's actually great, man. So um, if 
you know, if uh, Durant would be playing, they actually have a good opportunity to to grab those uh, to grab those rebounds because again, there would be no Embiid, there would be no Tucker for Philadelphia. I think I'm going to stick with the home team right here, Detroit Pistons, with the plus six. I'm not going to be surprised if Philadelphia would actually win this game. This, this game, I mean, they are the they are the favorite, but I think Detroit Pistons should have enough to at least cover the spread of six points. My pick: Detroit plus six, Pistons plus six. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.